We are joined here once again by Syl Sebastian, our professional of the year, founder and creator of Nobelia.org, the way of impeccability and mourners project. He's here with his life-changing programs and coaching as an author, as a poet, and um, again, along with his dear friend Venus, and we're excited to have you yes. guys both here to talk yes. more about uh, what we want, how we're going to get it, and how you're helping so yes. many people shift. How are you guys? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> I, I, Yes, yes, yes. We are. We, we we have such a blast, you know, every day. Right, Bina? It's just yes. a joy. It's a joy. We have a blast. We have a blast. And by the way, Bina is my co-collaborator, co-facilitator, and co-conspirator. Ah, and <laughs> right, the kind. Oh, I'm not sure <laughs> what we are conspiring to, but, but well, I know yes. we are co-aspiring. So Beautiful. actually she's a co-aspirator. How yes. about that? I so love it. Spiral. Also, we are conspiring. Yes, we are conspiring. We are we, contributing. We are? we are. Yes, we are contributing in the universe, always conspiring, whatever you want to, really, really want to. So we are just... There you that. go. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. And A conspiracy does... Oh, go ahead, Joel. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm going to say, oh. and this is all in a good way. We're conspiring for exactly. the best. <laughs> exactly. It sounds negative. Exactly. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> exactly. You know, I, I'm not sure if absolutely by definition... A conspiracy has to be uh, negative. It may just be something that's private. It may yeah. you may conspire to do good. It's possible. Yes. I have to look that up. Anyway, so we're conspiring to do good. <laughs> we conspire with the universe. <laughs> the universe, you know, uh, and, and universe here I use is a very broad term. You can call it your higher self, your deeper self, your subconscious, your other self. You can call it whatever deity you like. Uh, you can go through the whole range of them. You can call it all of them. doesn't matter. You can call it just basic energy or intent, if you like, which is a very good term for it. But uh, something or other, there is an intent, yeah. an intent to mourners. And that intent to mourners, at least that's how, what I call it, you can also see it as an intent to awareness. Right? And and that, when you look at this, actually, we've been, we've been really... Uh, immersing in this topic on our lives that we do on Facebook. And this intent to mourners or intent to awareness, it really is a big, big deal when you really start to think about it. Now, typically, you know, I've shared much about what we do uh, in terms of not just the writing, but also what Bina does with me, which is co-facilitating the programs. And, and facilitating is the word because there's no teaching, right? We yeah. facilitate and because we're providing the tools. Mm -hmm. So, all right, there may be a little bit of, of guidance when it comes to years how to use the tool, but we really strive for things to be self-evidently yeah. sensible. Absolutely. And when it is, okay, you figure it out for yourself. Very easy. And all you got to do really as a participant is simply do. Do the tasks and exercises. Do the practices. And when you do that, it takes care of itself, right? Because really what we are getting the participant to do or participants, plural, uh, and actually we're going to, as part of our, our live and likely when we start doing our own show, which is getting closer and closer, by the way, the morning show on OTT TV. Very Yay. exciting. Uh, yes. Once we start that, we, we, we will uh, do a, um, a, a group, a, a group availability to the general public. For, of doing wave impeccability. So anybody who wants to come, they can come. Yes. By now, the way, nobelia.org. Yeah. Nobelia.org. Exactly. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Exactly. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. I always forget to put that in. That's very important. And in this in this public doing, you know, anybody can come. I, I want to make it accessible to to viewers and listeners and and followers, everybody, right? Because there's there's quite a few that come fairly regularly. Yeah. And I, I'm always a bit, you know, they these things they're missing because they haven't done the program, right? So they have to kind of catch up a bit. But if they did it, then they wouldn't be sort of behind the curve. At any rate, yeah, this true. point of self-evident sensibilities, this is a big deal, right, Bina? Yes. yes. I want to practice handing off to Bina. I've got a lot more to say. <laughs> but, I, but... Bina say I do have a question. Yes, I do have a question for you. Because, yes, it is wonderful what we are going to do and what we are doing already. But I just want to know for, of course, for everyone else, that how does Way of Impeccability uh, help people who are in need of therapy? Mm. Does it really help? Oh, and yes. Uh, oh, yes. Also, yes, and also for the counseling. 
just yeah. sometimes yeah. you just do you don't need therapy but counseling yeah. so what what in yeah. these two areas how does yeah. uh, way of impeccability actually help you out i uh, th- this is a very great question and we've yeah. had quite a few participants that had been or, and still were in therapy at time of starting uh wave impeccability one noticeable one a little quicker than most most it took like you know a month or two and they they left the therapy but one was with us for two weeks okay she did everything really quickly she'd been in therapy wow. for 15 years 15 years yes and 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 specifically related to a particular a particular issue yeah and and this was resolved in 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 two weeks we didn't have the answer wow. for her right so th- this is the whole big point here right you yeah. go to therapy your mindset is one of getting stuff mm-hmm. fixed as typically when you go to therapy right i need exactly. to get stuff fixed but when you focused on fixing it is a negative emphasis because now your entire brain is focused on fixing your problem you immersed in mm-hmm. problem and so what happens is that you, you because of emphasis you make all the nodes expand relative to problems and suddenly you start to discover through this extra emphasis and attention and awareness that you've got wow. a whole ton of problems that you never uh, even knew all yes right. <laughs> yeah for sure yeah. and this bothered me since i was a teenager actually this this wow. i saw this happening and it really and 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 i i hold it somewhat against the profession that you don't realize this yes I mean seriously come on this is your job this if you just pay attention to people you see the power of immersion right mm-hmm. I, at that time at that time it was simply noticing the power of immersion they yeah. hadn't yet done the neurological studies which proven about the nodes that's a very recent thing actually that's not that hasn't been around that long the the new, neurological part of it at any rate so how does to answer bina's question how does wave impeccability help from a therapeutic or a counseling point of view first of all it starts with the very first slide uh, says that uh, that uh, it asks you the participant um, yeah. are, are you a good person in a in a bunch of different ways right it asks mm-hmm. you a bunch of questions uh, are you are you do you want to goodness and moreness in your life do yeah. you want learning and growth etc and 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 you answer yes 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 and then the next slide says now if you've answered <laughs> yes to all these questions this proves conclusively that you are a good person wow yes that's where we start and it this sounds so simple just, yeah so right how you are saying actually it sounds so simple i know i know it's, that, not. That it's first, not that first that yeah. first slide is really transformative because yeah. you are not there for fixing it it Correct. completely shift the exactly. mindset complete a different paradigm that okay i'm not here exactly. to get fixed and that is the real real crux of that okay how we have right. right. actually eliminate the need of therapy and counseling yes that is the yes. problem because sel is mentioning that she was uh, getting therapy for 15 years but actually right. she was suffering for more right. than three decades for that problem uh, yes correct 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 i mean and, it was a long standing issue therapy yeah. right. yes right right so now we start off with this and and I'll, I'll just do a quick screen share here sure, um, for please. those on video uh you know we we I, i went through this when we started our series we went through this in detail and i remember asking joe these remember, questions and yep. joe was saying yes <laughs> was, you are a good person <laughs> right yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah, so so you. here's the question which asks which of these resonate or apply capital a apply to you say yes out loud Right? and that was the yes. key to say yes at last you are a good person yes 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 you have integrity <laughs> yes you care about others yes. yes you have generosity kindness compassion so it's in detail right I, i'm not going to go through all of them but you get the point here right and you want more in life is the ending point but but now you know we we go through it fairly quickly here yeah. when we do this uh with a participant Now some say yes 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 and they get to those last couple can you be deliberately bad or oh, let me go back there uh <laughs> can you be deliberately uh, can you be deliberately oh you cannot be deliberately bad and and, and some of them like well I, i think if i really tried i could and then we discuss that i was i was yeah, black yeah, yeah. yeah. yes right <laughs> exactly it just that their innate goodness but yeah. then i said bina if you had a good reason to be bad 
wouldn't you actually be or, or, or wouldn't you actually be be good actually even though you did something which is in the usual circumstance bad right but if you had a good reason to do it then it's good right well let's say you know uh, there was a murderer who wants to murder your children and you say no murderer sorry i'm going to get rid of you first before you get my children well, okay you know i'm just saying it's a, it's an extreme yeah. obviously but i can't think of a better example right now but sometimes uh, so, we, we do things that aren't nice, but they are actually yes. good. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Coming back to the therapy and counseling, because this is very, very important. Yeah. And especially people who yeah. have been in a situation like that, because one of the other participants we had, and I was really shocked by that, because she had that relationship uh, issue with her yeah. mother for 50 years, more than 50 years. And in one yeah. session, of course, she was doing that for two months. And then after that, in one session, she was going through all these things and still just ask, him, ask her a very simple question. It was, of course, uh, very specific to her. But that question, and when she actually did that exercise, it was like, now, now everything yeah. is completely changed. So I'm again asking you the same question, right. that can you, or can a uh, way of impeccability actually help people who oh, are yeah. in need of therapy and counseling? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why? Wow. First yeah. of all, because we changed the paradigm yeah. in which you are going to deal with the, whatever it is that he's dealing with. Yeah. The key yes. point is we're going to throw fixing out the window. Okay. And we are going to replace it with replacement, capital R replacement. Okay. And the example I use is you, you've got a problem with debt. Yeah. It's a very common problem. People know this problem. Right? Mm -hmm. if, we, if we help you and we get you to fix your debt, yeah. which can be done, right? Okay, so now you're at zero. You don't have any debt anymore. Have you solved the actual issue, which is that you don't have enough income, mm -hmm. right? Or you're spending too much for the income that you do have. So now you need to replace getting rid of your debt, which is, okay, you know, I got people to help me out. I went on Kickstart or whatever, you know, in many ways to do this. But you're not, you're not dealing with the real issue. If you replace it with, with a, a productivity mindset yeah. and, uh, and increase what you're coming in, now you actually resolve the problem with an appropriate replacement. Because here's the thing with uh, debt is a good example, because when you eliminate your debt, you, you get to zero, but you don't mm -hmm. have a plus yet. And that's the same thing when we, we, we look at our, our inner problems. Yes, you, you can fix it, but then you just end up with nothing, and especially with bad habits. With bad habits, this is very problematic because now you, you have a typical way of being that you've had most of your life. And suddenly, you, you've got nothing because you've now thrown this out. You've eliminated it. But we cannot be nothing. This is in incredibly impossible for us to be. We can't be a nothing. Yeah. Right? So, so now, now you're like, well, okay, like, I know I mustn't be yeah. angry, but what do I replace it with? You, you, they don't even think replacement. Well, uh, well, now what do I do uh, if I can't be angry? And, and then the person gets stuck. And, and they get stuck because they don't know what to replace it with. And they're not thinking replacement. They say, oh, I mustn't be angry, mustn't be angry, mustn't be angry. And they have nothing to fill that hole. Yeah. And then, well, better the devil you know than the one you don't know. Right? So they go right back to the old behavior. I mean, it's basically recidiv recidivism, the same as prisoners coming out of jail, right? They, yeah. they, they know that life. They don't have a replacement. They just go right back into it, right? Better the devil you know. So this is key. And once we make this shift from Bina to, to, to answer Bina's question about wave impeccability. Wave impeccability is entirely all about replacement, adding to what you have, enhancing the positive, replacing whatever there is that's a negative with a positive. Now, yeah. you say, yeah, but, 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 you know, I've tried this. I've done many courses. The problem with courses is the things didn't stick uh, because most of them are asking you to sort of remember what was said and then to do it, right? You're told to do this, do this, do this, and you'll be fine. That doesn't work for us nope. as people. Not when it comes to who we are. Why? No. Nope. Because you have to make mm -hmm. it your own. And that goes in the participant's dictionary of power, right? Yes. And they create their own dictionary of power. Wow. It's not my stuff that goes in there. It's yours. So making it your own in whichever way you call that yeah. yourself. You may, you may call it self-incorporation, self-absorbing, understanding, capital U, whatever. It doesn't matter the term. 
But the point is that if you don't make it your own, then it's not going to sit in you. It's not going to work. And in order for you to make it your own, you have to have the logic, the reasoning, the sensibility, the justification, the substantiation. This must all sit with you. You can't have any doubts. No. It will never be yours. And that is integral to the program. Doing repeat packs and takeaways and the tasks and exercises and all the discussion we do, it's all about you sharing how That's you right. understand this yeah. new replacement, this new tool, yeah. how you understand it, how it makes sense to you. And of course, you know, if we spend two hours, uh, which is the typical time of a session, sometimes it goes gonna, longer. It, wow. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Not, not 45 minutes. It's too little. You know, too you little. go to the 30, 40. That's just when you start getting started, right? You kind of right. get all the preamble out the way and the things are just and starting to get good and, oh, maybe? time's up. No, 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 <laughs> no. So, you know, we, we, we find usually there about hour, 15 minutes, hour and 30 minutes, somewhere in there, that's when the crux happens, right? Now, again, sometimes it takes a little longer, sometimes a little quicker, but on average, typically. So that two hours, very, very important. And it's twice a week as well for the immersion. It's very important. Now, that, like I was saying, the, the process of what we're doing is not us telling stuff to the participant. No, it's the reverse. They sharing with us. Mm -hmm. Fine, they'll, they'll, they'll do the, like this particular slide that yeah. I shared that we do together. But generally, there's content. And, and you as a participant, you got to take that content and come back. Well, do on your own, you do a repeat back and then you do a takeaway. And eh, that explained in detail what it is. So on your own, you go and do the homework, as it were. Then when you come on Zoom, you share the repeat back and the takeaway and the tasks and exercises when they are. You know, what happened yes. and how this went. And we're listening. We're listening to what went on during the week. Of how course. did it go? How are you relating? How are you yep. changing? How are you implementing? How are you praying? It's all about you. It's not about us. It's all mm -hmm. about you. But it's not just like the therapist that's sitting there, you know, with a, how does the therapist hands mm -hmm. go? I don't know. There's a way they sit, right? <laughs> that way of sitting. Anyway, I, we don't do that. We, we are actively involved. You know, sometimes we'll do a lot of talking, right, Bina? Yeah. Because we're yes. sharing perspectives and understandings and and then it's like, ah, see, ah, see, okay. And they're fitting it in. But it's all about the participant thinking things through to the end, right? And when that's Absolutely. written, it's all hyphenated. And the to the end is all in all caps. That's why it's got to be shouted. Yes. Because it is absolutely critical to go all the way. That's like, yes. like if you're running an experiment in science class. <laughs> if you do it 95% of the way. So true. Sorry. It, it may or may not work, but you have to go all the way. So that's the number one step. The second key thing is that what we are facilitating the, the, uh -huh. the, the participant to do is to perspective shift to multiple perspectives. That's very key. Because when we want to understand something that is a, a whole, that's not linear, how do you understand the sphere? You've got to come at it from multiple angles. And at some point, your brain puts, ah, see, okay. And it puts True. all the parts together. And mm -hmm. then it kind of falls into place and clicks. And when you know this is what you're doing, we're coming at it from an angle. We're coming at it, coming at it. And at some point, that understanding kicks in because you've got enough parts. And then it fits into play. Ah, I get it now. I get it now. And that is a most wonderful thing too. That's what Bina was talking about. Right, Bina? When you said about yes, exactly. where that, the, the, the exactly. one participant you were thinking of yes. where it fell into play. And I want to share uh, well, another story about this. It's a very quick one. Yes. But uh, very, very life-changing for some. Okay. Anyway, uh, one of the participants was struggling with the issue like, okay, early age, fathers die and all these things. And she was struggling with that. And without still having any idea, without me having any idea, and of course, other participant, we were just sharing. And of course, everything was coming up. She herself realizes that she was carrying the guilt of her father's death as like, oh, I did something wrong. And yeah. it was not in the awareness. And it was like, oh, okay, well, oh. she was in her early 30s and she was carrying that. And yeah. that guilt, that, of course, it's a horrible guilt. And she was carrying that without having any logical reason for uh, that. Correct. But she, became, she became aware of that how I was adopting this idea mm -hmm. was there involved into exactly. this and also some other shirts nonsense also involved into this yeah and that thing 
carrying as a big huge girl it was bye. actually of course very devastating for her overall her personality and her life path and she yeah. realizes we don't know we had no idea that okay how these things were for her and she realizes after some sessions of course bye. not uh, okay after years i guess and then she realizes that i am the one who is carrying that girl Mm-hmm. and that was like yeah. oh my god she didn't wow. share with us and of course she carries on and then after that yes. like wow. a six month and then she says yes. that I was recovering myself from that completely ah. false kid I had nothing yes. to do with that and it was not an accident it was natural death and nothing she has yeah. nothing she was just five year old but that yeah. girl was there yeah. I could incredible? save him I could wow. save him and and that yes. was like oh my god yeah. and, and that was something wow. that she became like really able to understand that what is my real problem what is the root yeah. cause why i'm so Correct. still Correct. connected is still clinging is still actually living in those moments where my yes. father was and, and you look at it yes oh, so good so that, that, that was really really a transformation and yes. that transformation we had nothing to do with that correct she was the correct. only person who really did this for herself yes mm-hmm. yes It but now the what 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 assisted her to get into that was first of yes. all going yeah. through it all the way yeah yes. with with an openness now this we'd already done uh, sessions at participation so yes. the 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 procedure was there in terms of going and looking at it multiple perspectives and you just keep going you just even if you don't know where it's going to end because it's not linear you just persist plus also in in our conversations we're sharing how are you what yeah. you're going on just just talking just connecting the underlying understanding of psychology Can't which you. we have yes. which is extensive and very sophisticated this starts to come through and in this case is a particular conception that is part of wave impeccability and that is association management now first yes. of all you need to be aware mm-hmm. of association and when we understand how associations work and then i use the example of of somebody being afraid of crossing a threshold right you get yep. some this uh, like a phobia and and the reason for it is when they were a kid uh, they were right stepping over the threshold and a spider fell on them and they freaked out right yeah. yes. uh, right in that exact moment stepping over the threshold that association of the intense fear and scare from the spider was connected with the threshold right now yeah. it's an irrational connection but that's what the brain does because it's in that moment right and we yes. tend to do yes. this now you see right there one little story and we understand associations oh they're not always reasonable not always random sometimes mm-hmm. they they come just completely by accident and we've connected two things which needed to be connected which aren't in and of themselves connected it's not the threshold that's the problem it no. is the spider but we've made that association and when we understand association management we can now start to appropriately associate yes i'm still scared of the spider and i don't of like spiders course, but the spider and i to do with the threshold right so that and, and there's so many things right you know i mean uh, people like i mean i just can speak now from women particularly you know a woman was raped and uh, the person yeah. was of a particular ethnic uh, um, specificity and so she she had a negativeness towards that that ethnic yeah. group mm-hmm. and, and it just carried over right and 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 when we sort of said well is it all all men of that ethnicity are they all bad well no it was a, such a duh right and it was like oh my goodness i've been doing this all my life and i never even mm-hmm. realized it and 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 one of the key tools that we utilize right from our perspective right we say awareness is self curative right bina yes in many cases yes and and exactly and that like in this case now it was awareness simply awareness to say oh i made this association and it's inappropriate Yeah. and then you can change it now of course you can start the process of change and that's why bina is very cautious there she says in many cases right she's just covering mm-hmm. herself there very smart <laughs> why 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 does bina say this because the awareness alone is not always enough exactly. why because exactly. of habits because of habits yes. Yeah? Yes. We, we 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 know it's wrong to do but we're so in the habit and and our brain is so 
trained in that habit that we we do the thing that we know is inappropriate to do, but we do it without thinking because that's what a habit is. It's a so habit true. is a cultivated it's unawareness. It's a hard habit to break. Oh, thinking about that, Chicago exactly. it's true. Uh, exactly. So because a habit is a cultivated, deliberate, unawareness routine. Yes. Isn't that yes. what you want from a habit? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be thinking about it. You want to yeah. do it automatically. So when yes. it's a bad habit, you, you're, now, you're not even aware that you're doing it. And that's why wave of impeccability is focused on deliberate living, which means that you are being aware all the time. And there are Sometimes techniques and practices. Most, most empowering, really. Really, Correct. because we must Incredibly. call it because people in this, uh, sometimes they don't understand that what deliberate living is. Actually, this is true right. empowerment, what it is. Really. Yes. Because when you yes. can be deliberate, it means that you are you are empowered enough. The same yes. with that woman when she was struggling with this guilt, which she was not aware. That was the yeah. moment of empowerment for her that she discovered by herself. And we have yes. so many other, of course, stories, amazing stories. Like a woman off in her 60s was struggling, whole life struggling with some inventors from some guy and family. Yeah. And one day she shared and then oh. we uh, self-discussed with her the self-conception with a very profound tool. And the next meeting, she did nothing. She just entered. And that was the way that guy was completely changed after 50 years of relationship. Wow. wow. No single word without saying a word from her side. And yes. she was literally, literally jumping with, with happiness when she uh, came next time. And she says that that was some magic. It was well, like I, I love had, the two of you together computer. creating and helping people with their magic. And yes. you guys, I wish yes. we had an hour show. Unfortunately, we, we oh, don't. It's, no, <laughs> it's all right. So we'll we'll come back next week. How do we reach out to you? Share with us, please. Nobelia.org slash connect. Yeah. Beautiful. And in closing, and today, we'll bring a third guest next time. Oh, exciting. Really? Really? Who? Anyone? You can yeah. Tell me? Well, it's an author and a life coach. And it's, it's a very good reason why we, I'm thinking to bring her. I'll yes. have to check with her for time. But yeah, beautiful. We'll see. You'll see Sounds next good. Time. Thank you so surprise. much, guys. Have a Thank great day. Thank you so day. much, Jill. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.